So, do you think for next year's show that they might give you like a full size one or, uh, yeah? Do you feel like a, like a cop on a bicycle or is it all good? So back here, that's like having a full tank of gas pretty much, eh? Box of, box of wood, ready to go? Check this out. This is what I need for Dopey. They can make some power for me. It's like a dog powered treadmill. Bubba Box Truck Corey! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are off to the steam engine show in Cookstown. I think it's the Georgian Bay steam engine show. Just north of Toronto anyway. It's going to be a great day. We're going to look at some antique machines steam engines, a few other old engines, uh, we'll see what they have, and uh, well, let's get going. Here we are, the exciting George, Georgian Day steam show. Cookstown, Ontario. Nice high-end sign they have. I'm sure it's going to be fun. Lots of old school engines back in the day. They sound great, eh? Half scale model. It took Grandpa 10 years to build it. Half scale model of a Waterloo. Wood fired. A little extra water. Awesome machinery. You can actually see the lube, eh? The water. Back when machines were machines. Just full of awesomeness. It's owned by uh, Roy and Pat Hastings from Guthrie, Ontario. It was built in 1920. This is a 20, 60 horsepower engine. This engine has a brand new welded boiler on it that's capable of holding 175 psi. It's driven by. Uh, ah, there we go. Thanks, Nick. Hey, he's not only our sound guy, he's our medical advisor and everything More else. More food. It's driven by Roy's daughter. That's part about festivals. Operated by Jeff Sears in Sarnia. And we Beef brisket today. Hot. Feature this year. Give us a beat and whistles. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful engine indeed. That one. This uh, beautifully restored 1926 Chef Touring car. Uh, this was the start of the late Frank Corbin, and uh, it's uh, driven today by his son Good. and Frank's wife, Shirley. Now, Shirley Corbin, if you don't know, and if you have no one... Very nice while we start talking. Uh, we've got a little honey, and we've got this one on the back. This is a uh, 
1974 Speed X 51519. Well, well, it's not quite as nice as this one, but both very rare craft. So thank you very much, Floyd. Best one of the show or what? That's the one. Put a box on the back of that. Live in it. Be a tiny house from back in the day. Good for the uh, Canadian snow there. Damn. It even sounds nice. Nineteen twenty two, rare item, oldest existing example in Canada. That's pretty cool. Gas engine, I guess, since there's spark plugs. This is the one we looked at moving down the road earlier, but I wanted to get a, a look inside. Just a wood box where you literally sit on the gas tank. I wonder why they make the cab out of wood. Like the whole remainder of it's metal everywhere, right? Why not make a metal cab too? Looks comfy for a long drive. It's loud enough, that's true. So, do you think for next year's show that they might give you like a full size one or? Uh, I like riding the full size one this morning. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel like a, like a cop on a bicycle or is it all good? No, I have the full size version of this at home. I just like the <laughs> So why don't you tell us about this? You built it. Is it a model scale or? Uh, So back here, that's like having a full tank of gas, pretty much, eh? Absolutely. Box of, box of wood, ready to go. Yeah, and the water's in the back end of the tank. So, so do you know how long it took him to build it? Yeah. You want to explain to our uh, viewers how it works? What's the steam engine? Uh, external combustion, combustion well, engine. Well, it's a steam engine built. It's, it's based on uh, expansion of steam. So, Turn her down. So basically, it's got a valve in it. Slow this down a bit. So the wood heats the water, the water boils and makes steam. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. On that principle, and the steam is captured inside the boiler under a 
fast pressure. So what kind of pressure would just a little boiler like this get up to? My, my safety valve is set at 100 PSI. Next up is Barry Dennis. So with the steam engine, here, here's what sets the timing. So it, it, it's, the, it's the valve that slides back and forth. It tells the steam whether to go into that side, that side, or go out the middle, out the exhaust, which is ported out the stack. And it's just all about com uh, expansion. So the steam goes in there and it expands. And it pushes the piston forward and it goes in this side and pushes it that way. And unlike a gas engine, it goes in reverse. So if I want to reverse it, I just change the timing. With my lever, I go backwards that way. So there's no transmission, it's just directly no. geared to the wheels? Directly geared, no transmission. And the thing so it's like a valve system that's, that it's a goes... Slide valve. So yeah, there's a port here, there's a port here, and then there's the exhaust port that goes down the bottom. So the this is this is sliding the valve back and forth right here. So it's just going in between. It looks like it. It looks like a little D or a D if you looked at it. Whoops. And uh, all it does is it just. If this is your three ports, all it does is it slides back and forth like that. Back when mechanics were pretty wild, eh? Uh, Nowadays, there's not much to look at in an engine. Well, thank you for You're the very interview. Welcome. You're very welcome. Do you have a YouTube channel? Or are you online or anything? Or it's just your hobby? It's just my hobby. Yeah. Well, that's definitely a cool old tractor we saw at the show today. Thank you so much. And it's, like I said, it's 235 and 7. Check this out. This is what I need for Dopey. They can make some power for me. It's like a dog powered treadmill. It's perfect. Where do I get one? I don't need solar power. I need two of these, one for each dog. They'll keep my lights going. Christmas is coming, Dopey. We're going to get you one of these. I don't know if I'd want to sit on this like 8, 10, 12 hours a day and go around a field in circles. These seats don't look so comfy. To be honest, they really look not comfy. Pace, you know, you should have did something a little different. Wow, nice little Toronto uh, in the seat. That's cool. You wouldn't want to stick a leg in those spokes. Just direct gear day. Eh? Love the machinery. That's awesome. Keep it simple. Can't really see a whole lot in there, but. Well, there you have it, the Canadian rare beauty of the show. You thought it would be some 25-year-old blonde, but it's a 1920s tractor made right here in Canada. wonder where. Was it in Toronto, right around here? Maybe I'll have to read this. Probably tells me. Alliston. Ontario Machinery Company. Well, there you go. Learn something new. There we go. 
Wrapping up the day with some moo cows. What about you? Can you say moo? Moo. Leave me alone. I'm busy. What about you? You want to say hi, don't you? I know you do. Well, everyone needs a nap. Sure, lie down. Look at those uh, horns. Yeah, look at you. You're the prettiest one of the bunch, huh? Oh, yeah. Those would look great on the front of my truck. Miss them? You wouldn't, would you? A little bit? Okay, keep them. <laughs>